All right, so I've been practicing retention for about four years, uh, for most of that four years. You know, there were periods where maybe I wasn't doing it as much, but more or less four years. And I want to share with you today my three, the three most important insights that I've had since I've been practicing this, all right? I'm going to hit you guys with a lot of truth today. I know that, you know, you like watching retention videos. I, myself included, I'm guilty of this too. We like watching these videos because it gives us a lot of, uh, you know, positive reinforcement. You know, they keep us very motivated, and the more creators that we see that are talking about this, it makes us feel like, okay, well, we're doing the right thing, and eventually it's all going to pay off. You know, it, it's, it, keeps, it just keeps us very motivated, right? And, you know, the truth be told is that these videos can, watching this stuff can get a little addictive. And that's why this is a very popular topic for people in the YouTube space to talk about, is because people, it gets a lot of clicks, you know, and it gets a lot of watch time. And, you know, that's nothing wrong with that. That's just what it is. There could be worse things that people can get addicted to. You know, like I have always said in my previous videos, it's better that you get addicted to watching YouTube videos than the other thing. You know what I mean? But I keep it real on this channel and I'm going to give you what you need, not what you want. So I'm not going to be talking about having superpowers and female attraction and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to give you insights that are grounded in my own experience and reality. Number one, you have to go all in, meaning you have to cut out all lustful thinking, any kind of adult content. You have to stop edging. You have to stop looking at women or men as, you know, just sexual objects. This is absolutely crucial if you want to find the peace that this practice can really bring you. And this isn't going to be something that you're just magically going to be able to do. And there's nothing wrong with any of that. It's just the human condition. It's just how we were, uh, you know, it's, we're just a product of how we grew up. You need to be patient with yourself and you have to be able to truly commit to this. Because this is really where all of the strength and the benefits and all of that is really going to come from. It comes from truly being able to commit to this without getting sidetracked. And you're gonna get sidetracked here and there, especially when you sort of start, and that's fine, but you have to be able to get back on the wagon. And trust me when I tell you, it gets easier and easier as time goes on. You're not even gonna notice it, all right? After the months pass, the years pass, you're gonna look back and, and you're gonna see how much strength you really have, similar to going to the gym. This is why when people say they do this and they don't really notice anything or they don't feel like it's working, it's because they didn't truly desexualize their brain. Desexualizing your brain is what's going to truly get you back to sort of that childlike state that a lot of retention guys talk about. And that, my friend, is truly the best part of this whole thing. So that brings me into number two. Retention is not just about never releasing. It's literally all about transcending lust. And this is a very long-term effort it could take years to truly trans transcend lust so stop being all obsessive about the days the amount of days and you know um whether or not you had wet dreams and i relapsed and this and that guys you gotta stop obsessing over this it doesn't none of that shit matters it's funny i'm in this group chat in discord uh, it's like a, a retention. That's all. It's just about that. And I'll, I'll it's another creator uh, created it. I'll put a link below if you're interested in joining. And the guys in there, they make me laugh because they're just, they get so crazy over every little time that they release or, you know, the one time or the wet streams. And you don't drive yourself crazy over this stuff, guys. It's all in your fucking head. You don't lose benefits or lose progress or any of that. You don't go from being a spiritual person to no longer being a spiritual person because it happened once. All right? That's not real. It's just your mind playing tricks on you. Trust me. You have to let go of this whole thing just becoming another worldly attachment that you're just getting so unhelpfully attached to that you're just trying to gain something from it. The goal is to get this monkey off of our back that most men have. A lot of guys comment on my videos and they're like, oh, you know, it's bullshit and I didn't see anything. Yes, that's exactly why it doesn't work for you because you're so hyper-focused on trying to gain something. You're doing this practice from a place of ego and just like wanting something. It's not going to work if you do it that way, guys. Retention is not about getting anything. It's all about losing it's all about letting go do you understand number three the practice of retention is going to help you evolve into an entirely new person and it's going to flow into other areas of your life so you may be wondering like like evan why have you been making content about like minimalism and, and journaling and meditation like we, we don't care about that we just want to know about retention and its benefits right well it's because eventually you just sort of evolve out of it altogether and you just evolve into a whole new way of living you start adapting sort of a way more simple lifestyle because what i've realized for me is that like 
we've just been fed nonsense our whole life that we don't need. It's like just this abundance of just like consuming and sexual content and all this technology and just so much stuff. Not that, uh, you know, there's nothing necessarily wrong with any of that, but it's just like so excessive, especially if you live in America and you realize like you just start evolving out of all of it and you just want to be, you know, you know, I wasn't really spiritual at all before I started this. And now all I just want to like spend time by myself in nature and journal and read and meditate and, you know, breathe deep and just all of that stuff. You know what I mean? Um, you got to be willing to keep an open mind. That's really important. A lot of people I see that make comment on my videos, they make fun of me for talking about things like yoga and breath work. Whether that stuff is for you or not is irrelevant. Like you got to just keep an open mind to it. All right. You may not like it. It may not align with you. You may still think it's stupid. But if you truly want to involve, evolve into an entirely new person and evolve out of that, that slave way of living, you got to be willing to keep an open mind to new things that maybe you're not familiar with. Maybe they intimidate you a little bit. Maybe they seem silly. You got to just keep an open mind to them. Okay. So just a few closing thoughts. You got to understand that this is all a mental game. All right. It, most of this is really just all in our heads. You have to make sure that everything up here is pure and good. And you do this by, you know, a consistent meditation and breathing practice or however other way that maybe you found it works for you. Trust me, once you get all of this under control, everything else is going to unflow, uh, unfold naturally. It's all going to fall into place with benefits and this and that. I promise you. Just stay focused on gaining control of your mind. It's all a mental practice. Because even when I go through phases where, you know, maybe I'm not retaining as much, I'm still not the same way I used to be. I mean, sometimes a little bit, I might get lustful and stuff like that. But for the most part, you know, I don't know if it's just from retention, but I definitely have evolved so much. I mean, I think it was probably a number of different things. I think it was also just my age and uh, some other stuff I've been doing. But so I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say today. Uh, thank you for joining me and watching.